You know, a little extra throttle free play might not seem like a big deal, but it is, and it's one of my biggest pet peeves. A loose twist grip is going to make your throttle response feel sloppy, and that's gonna make your motorcycle harder to ride. So today in Revzilla, I will show you how to dial in your throttle free play. It is quick, it is easy, and it's going to make your motorcycle feel more precise. Let's open up the shop manual. Throttle slack or free play is the amount that the grip here rotates before the cables actually start pulling on the throttle plate. So you see this, you see this movement here at the throttle tube? That, my friends, is too much. But I've set it up like that as an example. And if your motorcycle looks like this, you're suffering. The throttle cable, which I've got right here, these guys that run in the housing, these will stretch and wear, and the housings themselves will wear as the cable just kind of like wears a groove in it. So you're gonna develop a little more slack over time and you're going to get more free play at the throttle, which as we have discussed, is not ideal because if there's a bunch of slack, you get that delay between when you open the throttle and when things actually start happening. The way I check the throttle free play is very simple because I've done it a bunch. I'll just use one of the mold lines on the grip and just kind of eyeball it, honestly. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it's just, you know, it's left over from when they manufactured the grip and it works for me. But if you want a more precise method, if you actually want to measure it, I've got a strategy for you. All you need is some masking tape, a marker and a tape measure or some other measuring device. Just take a piece of masking tape and you kind of stick it on the housing there. And then you take another piece of masking tape and you put it on the grip. Now roll the throttle all the way forward and you just make a little line there and then make a corresponding line on the housing. Now open the throttle until you just feel the cable tension. So if I turn the throttle beyond that, that's actually pulling on the cable. We just want that amount of distance, that amount of rotation before we pull on the cable. So that would be that right there. So this gap, this distance, that's our throttle free play. So we are looking at 10.9 millimeters that is a sloppy situation, folks. I would not want to ride this motorcycle. So clearly, we need to take some slack out here, right? If your motorcycle's got a two cable setup, which most of them do, it's called a push-pull throttle, then it's going to either be the upper cable or the forward cable that's got the adjuster on it. It's gonna be this thing revealed when you push the little uh, rubber cover back. That's just to keep it from getting rusty and dirty. And then you see you've got a barrel adjuster with a lock nut. So it looks like we need a 10 millimeter and an eight millimeter wrench. And taking the slack out is as easy as cracking the lock nut free and then moving the barrel adjuster. And look, if I push it back to the tension point and I'm dialing this back, you can see that reference line is moving forward. So just adjust it as you go. And I mean, that's the way I would like it. That's basically zero free play, which uh, can be a little risky. We're gonna explain that in the final step, but I like it nice and snug. So hopefully you can make the adjustment using just the barrel adjuster up here. But as you can see, we've pushed the thread pretty far out. And if you are unable to get the free play where you need it, if this thing is maxed out, the other option is down at the throttle bodies or carburetor themselves. And unfortunately on this bike, it's behind some body work. There was a little bit of disassembly required. I had to pull the seat off, the side panels off, and then prop the tank up with this block of wood. But now we can see the barrel adjusters I was talking about. So this is the end of the throttle body here, and you've got your push-pull cable, and just like on the clutch cable, and just like up on the throttle cable here, there's another threaded barrel adjuster. And so that is what you would tune on if you had to make a major change. If you do have to come down here and make an adjustment on this barrel adjuster, before you do, make sure you come back up here and reset this thing to its closest setting so that you've got its full range of adjustment to use later down the road. Now that your throttle free play is set and you've buttoned everything back on, you've, you've put your bodywork back on, you got the little rubber cover back over the adjuster here, there's just one last step we gotta do and this one is for safety. So go ahead and jump on the motorcycle, start it and just let it idle. Then turn the steering full lock right, full lock left. And that's exactly what you want to have happen, which is to say nothing. The idle didn't change when you went to full lock because if it did, that would suggest you don't have enough throttle slack and the cable is getting pulled as you go full lock. 
That's obviously not a good thing. You don't want the revs rising as you're doing a U-turn in a parking lot or something like that. So if that is the case, please go back and readjust your throttle slack by adding a little bit more. But if that's not the case, if your idle was steady, then you are all set and you've taken care of a very simple but important piece of maintenance that a lot of people overlook. So good job.